Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day. We are going to be cleaning off this back patio and setting it up and decorating it. It is a pretty big mess. We have to blow off and clean everything back here, move everything around, set up our patio furniture, hang our TV, and throw some decorations out here. So the first thing that we're going to do is clean everything really well with this hose pipe. We are going to pressure wash this, or Drew's going to pressure wash this, he said, in the fall time when it cools off some. But I wanted to just go ahead and use this and get most of the dirt and all the mess from the construction work off of this patio and just clean up everything and make it look a little bit more shinier than it is. And my mom's here helping me today, and I'm so thankful to have her help over here. We did a lot today besides just doing the back patio. We even cleaned the inside, getting ready to move in. Now I'm just cleaning this rug. I used to have it outside under the picnic table and it actually had like red mud on it. So I'm going to get that cleaned up too. You're going to see that I got a big surprise. My sister and her little girl came over to help me today and I had lots of help today. My dad helped, um, my in-laws helped, my cousin Kayla helped, just lots of help today. My grandma went and got us some pizza and brought it over for us. So I'm so thankful for my family and how supportive they are of us and how they're always right there whenever we need them. Okay, so this is how we decided to set it up. This is not what I had pictured in my mind, but because we had to move the swing over, it messed things up. But this is how Mom and Bridget did it, and I think it turned out really cute. It looks like a little room out here. So we're gonna put the rug down, and then we're gonna put the cushions on, and then start decorating out here. This little girl of ours helped us so much from cleaning out the cabinets to spraying off the furniture. She is just amazing and loves to help us clean. I'm going to talk about this patio furniture for a second. This video is actually sponsored by Ernest and they reached out to me and they ended up sending me this amazing patio set and I've been so excited about putting this out here and leaving it. We had it out here during construction um, on some weekends just to lounge out here and hang out but we had to take it back to storage and now we get to keep it out here permanently and it is just so nice and so thank you Ernest for sponsoring today's video and I actually have a promo code in the bottom in the description box if you want to check out some of their stuff online. Well, now I change everything around again because Bridget went to sit in the chair and said it was a little bit hard to sit in the chair with the autumn in there. So this is how I kind of have it now. I'll probably inch this furniture around a lot more. So now we're going to start putting the sheets on the swing bed and then dressing it up with some pillows. I had to spot clean at some of these cushions where we had it out here earlier this year using it. So I cleaned that with the thieves and I have to move this little bistro set around somewhere. And then also I bought a bunch of black and white striped pillows to go out here, but I don't think I have enough. So I think we'll have to get some more to put out here. But I think I'm going to grab some from the back, from the front porch and bring it out here and make sure I like it all and then work on the fireplace. So this is the bed swing that my husband Drew built me for my birthday back in June and we finally got it hung up and I'm so happy with it. Now I thought I was going to have everything to decorate this up and make it look cute for this video but I don't. I'm going to have to rethink this on how I'm going to decorate back here with the throw pillows and throw blankets and some plants so this is kind of a rough draft and then drew was watching me edit this video last night and he was laughing he said you match the outdoor furniture really well with your black and white stripes and now we have the group of guys hanging our tv out here and we got it to work this is one of the biggest things that drew has been most excited about 
because he has been like, I am so ready to get that TV hung and then football season start and be able to watch some football. He's a big Auburn fan, and so he was ready to watch some football on that TV out here. And now I'm just going to blow off this half of the patio. It did have our dryer on here, and Drew just brought that in and hooked it up. So I'm going to clean that part off and then put down these beautiful rugs that I got from Target that I feel like match out here so well. I'm going to put, I got two, and they're only like $13 each. So I'm going to put one at each of our back door. now like eight o'clock at night i had to wait on drew to get home to be able to hang the tv to finish this video this is a very rough draft of what the house is going to look like on the outside i have it set up like i like it but we need lots more pillows and the logs where you're getting gas logs with a remote out here and those are supposed to be set tomorrow we do have the tv hung which i am super excited about and drew is too so we just have it on this nice little coffee scene the string lights are hung out here. I do need to get a white extension cord and then we are gonna hang some black fans in each corner like this. And then other than that, all the electrical will be done out here. Now for the, um, all that sand, you see all the sand and everything, there's still lots of yard work that has to be done, but we'll get there. Probably gonna do a lot of yard work, a lot of yard work in the fall whenever it cools off. So the swing bed, I realized I need lots more pillows. And y'all saw all those pillows that I had brought from the front porch to the back porch. And then I realized that I liked these out here much more. I just like how they're bigger. And so I think this is how this will stay out here. And then I'll throw some fall pillows out here to make it a little bit more cozy during the fall season. But here we've got to work with this. So we'll um, see some of that probably in my fall decorating videos i'm gonna the next video out here will be a fall decorate with me on the back porch whenever we do that you'll see more pillows added here so i think that i need to get some like really big cushions something like these to go on the back of this and then add pillows with it so i think that's going to be what i do i might even um, not use this white sheet is very wrinkly right now too but i might not use the white sheet and get more of a cream sheet because i feel like nothing out here is super white um and then i want to get a throw blanket to put over it but i do love our little sectional out here so much and how we are rearranging it out here that little nook is going to be drew's like kitchen area we'll do later but right now he'll put like his black stone or some kind of a grill right there but he does want to do some like cabinets and like a little sink or something like that over there like a little mini fridge so we'll get to that later, but it's turning out so cute. I brought just my little house plants. They've been in Miss Althea's house and they've been neglected because I've been so busy with other things. So I just watered them and they should actually perk up by the time I come back out here tomorrow. But I am going to repot these in different pots and I'm going to use these inside. We're going to find more things. I'll probably bring up moms and different things out here for the fall. And then totally different plants will be out here. I want to add a lot of house plants um, around that area. Not not house plants i want to use a lot of um, potted plants like outdoor plants around that and back here my original plan was for this little area this little bistro set to be put right here but whenever we had to move the swing it made it a little bit more crowded and so i decided to put it over the window i really wanted to get a big dining room like outdoor dining room table out here and my plan was to put it right there I think it's gonna be too crowded we'll see but i do love that bistro set and i feel like there's a lot of room out here to be able to sit and hang out and watch tv and some football games that's what drew is excited about i did get these pillows from lowe's and i absolutely love them and i thought i really liked them lying in the back of that but i think i just like them in my little couch and chair set better and then this rug i got from target last year or no maybe two years ago sometime um and then also i wanted to put just a few things on the horse probably not much um, i'll probably put some garland up here for the fall time i have big dreams for out here look how beautiful that sky is but wait let's go look at that that looks like cotton candy out there okay that is beautiful so this is the back part of the porch 
we've got to cut our sod but drew wants to get a push mower before we start cutting it so we'll do that later but i love the string lights me and miss althea hung these the other day these are string lights i have um had for a while they were in the back of our double wide trailer out back and i got these from walmart they've held up great but we finally have an outdoor sitting area. Drew and I don't want to go home tonight. We want to just sit out here and watch a movie. But it's already 8 o'clock and he has to get up early to go to work in the morning. So we'll try to enjoy it this weekend. I love these rugs that I got. I thought they tied in so good. Drew is going to pressure wash all of this. But he said he's going to wait and do it whenever it cools off some in the fall time. So we're going to pressure wash the concrete. And then our back doors have to be painted. And we were going to paint them black. But Drew really wanted them white, so he's going to paint them white. And I think it just looks really pretty and clean and crisp out here. And then we will do something different around here. This plant, like I said, has been in Miss Althea's home neglected. But I rewatered it. I am going to replant this one and put it in a pot inside. I already have a pretty little concrete pot that I'm going to put it in. We're going to put something else out here. So I'm sorry if this um, video disappointed you. I feel like it does look very pretty out here, but it's not the ending of it. Like I have big plans for out here. It's just the things that I could find, the big furniture pieces that I already had that I wanted to sit out and get ready. And then I just brought some green plants just to add a pop of color and then show y'all kind of the style, kind of the vibe I was going for just with the blacks and whites and greens like I'm doing on the front porch. We still have to, actually this window right here is cracked. So we're getting a new window right there. So I'm not even going to clean that window. That one should be coming in soon. So it's a little bit dirty. And then again, I want to thank Ernest for sponsoring today's video and for our beautiful outdoor patio sectional and chair that we'll get to use and enjoy out here to watch some football games, some spooky movies whenever Halloween gets here. We are just so excited. Miss Althea has already claimed this chair. She said it's so comfortable. She loves it. And I do have a promo code down in the description box if you are interested and want to check out anything on their website. They have lots of different patio sets. And we just love this. I think it is so nice. So thank you again, Ernest, for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, we're going to look this way. Thank you all so much for being with us on this little decorate with us on this back patio that we have always dreamed about. We love it so much. Cannot wait to start watching some movies out here. We are actually starting to move in this week. We've been cleaning everything up in there and we're about to start bringing some kitchen stuff to put in the cabinets and we're about to start moving in. So I'm so excited. I think I've been telling y'all we're going to do an empty home tour. We're actually going to wing it and see what we're going to do because it's so hectic and chaotic right now. I'm hoping I can get an empty home tour in. If not, it'll be a move in with me and we'll kind of go from there. So I don't think that y'all will be disappointed in either video because we're going to have lots of holiday home tours coming up. So you'll get like a full home tour. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because it is late and I'm tired. I've been going since early this morning. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video and thank y'all for joining us on this journey. And I'm so excited about the next chapter with y'all, which is totally moving in. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for all the support and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all.